When the male world was first classified, there were two major male categories. We have the alpha male and the beta male. The alpha male is the category of male that leads, while the beta male follows. The alpha males also get all the girls' attention, while the beta males have to wait on the alpha male. The alpha males are predominantly leaders, and they always occupy leadership positions, while the beta males follow the instructions of the alpha males. However, the emergence of the Sigma male changed things entirely. Who is this Sigma guy? He is a man who possesses both alpha and beta male personality qualities. Theodore Robert Beale, a writer, is credited with coming up with this phrase in 2010. This writer compared Sigma males to solitary alpha males and characterized a Sigma man as a lone wolf. The Sigma male typically doesn't fit either the alpha or beta binary categories. This means they do not fit into the sociosexual hierarchy. We will only be examining the differences between the Sigma male and the predominant alpha male and comparing their levels of emotional intelligence. Stay tuned as we dive right in. According to Daniel Goleman, an American psychologist who made emotional intelligence popular in his 1995 book titled Emotional Intelligence, there are five main elements of emotional intelligence, and we will be using these elements as a yardstick in differentiating between the alpha and sigma males. Self-awareness. What does self-awareness mean? This element of emotional intelligence means you are aware of your qualities, weaknesses, and reactions to various people and circumstances. You possess the ability to inspire others, accomplish goals, and create an environment that is fair and welcoming. Asides from that self-awareness modify your way of speaking and encourage you to pay attention to others around you. In other words, if you have enough self-awareness, you will be able to recognize when you need help, who to ask, and how to use your traits to get what you want. In this aspect of emotional intelligence, both alpha males and sigma males seem similar but are also different. They are similar because both of them know who they are and are aware of what they can achieve. While they are different because of how they relate to their level of self-awareness, alpha males believe they are born to lead and they know they have what it takes for them to lead. Everywhere they find themselves, the first thing they want to do is find a way to be a leader. They know they have the attributes of a leader and also know they possess the set of skills they need to be a leader. Alpha males also know their weaknesses. They know that they are supposed to show their strength to people while they improve on their weaknesses. Alpha males are so sure of who they want to be that they feel restless when they are not at that level yet. They can go ahead and politicize their way to being a leader because they have the ability. However, this is different from Sigma males' approach to life. Sigma males are also aware of the abilities they have and know what they can achieve with them, but they will never get desperate or lobby to be a leader. Most of the time, Sigma males end up being leaders because the people thrust that responsibility upon them, knowing their capabilities. However, they are not bothered if they are the ones leading or not, as what matters to them is their personal goals. If Sigma males can achieve their goals just by being alone, they will be alone. And if it requires them to be a follower to achieve their goals, they do not mind being a follower, which alpha males cannot accept. Alpha males are believed to be more self-aware of themselves than sigma males. They just don't want their social status to be diminished by being a leader that is seen and applauded by all. Motivation. The inward desire that fuels behavior is motivation. Instead of focusing on short-term rewards, it takes the long-term advantages of participating in activities into account. The inclination for people to concentrate on their objectives is greater the more motivation they have. Motivated people have a great desire to do more, and they are upbeat even in the face of unforeseen difficulties. Even on a terrible day, you may look for the positive aspects, feel motivated to solve issues, and be determined to encourage those around you to achieve their next accomplishment. It is internal motivation. You're performing this task for yourself to satisfy your objectives and goals and to promote better performance. What is the motivation that propels both alpha and sigma males? Their motivation is different. For alpha males, their motivation is to be the best among others. Alpha males want to dominate and rule the male kingdom. They had been doing this solely until the sigma males came into the picture. It is either the alpha male rule or nothing else. 
Their number one aim is to always be the best and have multiple followers. Once there is another not following, they will devise a way to make the person their follower. This is different from that of the Sigma male. Sigma males are unique and different. Their motivation is strictly themselves. They have an agenda, which is to be the best version of themselves every single day and to achieve their personal goals. What others think doesn't matter to them as long as they believe it is beneficial to their growth. They do not care about social hierarchy and neither do they care about leadership. They are never motivated by material things or by temporary positions. They are motivated by their personal goals and dreams only. If it is not aligning with Sigma Male's goals, then they are not engaging with it. But once it is aligned with their goals, they can go overboard with it. They are not motivated by family, nor are they motivated by friends. They are self-motivated. Sigma Males seem to be more motivated than Alpha Males because they can be motivated when alone, while Alpha Males are only motivated when it comes to leading others or doing things people will see and applaud them for. To sum it all up, we can say the spotlight is their motivation. Self-regulation. It may be difficult for one to attain self-regulation, but once you do, you'll reap significant benefits. This ability makes you accessible, capable of handling disagreement, able to provide a loving environment, and able to lead by solid example. Self-regulation is the capacity to restrain irrational or problematic impulses or urges by remaining upbeat, even when things don't go according to plan. It aids in preventing rash judgment. It increases people's capacity for adaptation and receptivity to change. Additionally, it encourages the growth of innovation, hope, and honesty in people. Self-regulatory people respond to disappointments correctly by controlling their emotions rather than reacting to them. This is another emotional intelligence trait that both Alpha and Sigma males appear to share, despite their differences. In light of the relationship, both Alpha males and Sigma males have self-regulation. Alpha males are natural leaders, and some of the traits of a good leader include the ability to self-regulate. There will be situations where people will do things that will be annoying, and they will almost feel like flaring up immediately. But because of the virtue of the position they hold, they have to manage their emotions and find a better way to react to things. However, Sigma males seem to be better than Alpha males when it comes to self-regulation. At times, Alpha males get carried away because they know they are at the helm of affairs and act negatively. But Sigma males will never act until they know the motive behind what they are acting upon. Sigma males are so goal-driven that they do not want anything to come between them and their goals, which is why when they are offended, they will rather look into the situation critically to know if their reaction will affect their goals or not. Although Sigma males are blunt to a fault and will not lie. This personality trait of theirs is why they are most of the time reserved to observe things adequately and know the kind of reaction that is right at the time needed. Empathy it is possible to relate to and comprehend other people's feelings if you can examine issues from all angles and arrive at unbiased choices. Bias is reduced through empathy. Being empathetic implies you have strong listening and interpreting skills, and you can read facial emotions and body language. Alpha males and Sigma males are different in this key emotional intelligence. Sigma males are all about themselves and no one else. Even though they understand how people feel most of the time, they would rather ignore it. They only care about what they want to do and how they will achieve it. If it will require them to ignore everyone so that they can achieve their goal, they will ignore everyone, which is why they are tagged as loners. Sigma males tell the whole world the truth without considering the emotions of others. They do not care if their opinion is heard as long as they have the liberty to follow it. Alpha males, on the other hand, are leaders who must frequently consider the emotions of those around them before making decisions. Before any decision is made, they will need to see if the decision is what is best for the whole group they are leading or not. Alpha males know that leading well is what will make them continuous leaders, which is why they have to read the room before deciding on intellectual matters. Alpha males have to come to imagine themselves in the position of others to understand what needs to be done and not just stand at the top and make decisions that may hurt others. Social skills. The degree to which partnerships and connections are established and maintained depends on a person's social abilities. 
It encompasses the capacity of the person to relate to others by using their worldview to discover points of agreement with them in a variety of situations. You may relate with your others if you have strong social skills including effective listening, vocal communication, nonverbal communication, charisma, and interpersonal influence. Alpha males and sigma males are different again in this aspect of emotional intelligence. If there is a way sigma males can avoid social gatherings, I bet you they would. However, they know that networking is a key element of success, so they have no choice but to attend important social gatherings. Though they take pride in being loners, they can easily go to social gatherings and connect with people. Sigma males are mysterious, which is one of the major reasons ladies love them. They know exactly what to say when it is time to enter the social world, but they prefer to stay alone and focus on their self-growth rather than socialize frequently. Alpha males, on the other hand, are kings when it comes to socializing. When this male type gets into a gathering, they always find their way into being the star of the party. It is the life they are made for, and this is another way to warm their way into people's hearts. Alpha males are the leaders of the social hierarchy, which tells us much about them. They are always the ones that create the most social systems, and they ensure things go according to plan. They are also loved by women, because they mostly occupy leadership positions, which represents a major attraction for ladies. Generally, alpha males have better social skills, but occasionally sigma males can outperform alpha males in the social world. Now, it is time to know the most important sigma male advice you have never heard. Click on the image and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.